He has also been maybe a bit unlucky. He was pursuing a master degree at Gulu University. So the, he missed a grad graduation last last or last year. Uh, what what happened is he, when he completed his uh, academic work, they are now gone for research. So his research proposal, I think the the first supervisor did not advise him well. So the first proposal was qualitative. Then the research uh, committee of Gulu University said, "Now you are, you are, you are, your work is is, is 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 scientific. Scientific work uh, is not is not really qualitative. There should be uh, element of qualitative, quantitative, and experimental." So he came and wrote another proposal. So when he wrote another proposal. They now accepted. They accepted now the proposal. So it was on uh, poultry rearing. So he set uh, an experiment, experimental farm in uh, East Chile. That is the district of uh, Pade and the district of Agago. So he produced good work. Uh, he now presented the work, but unfortunately, somebody who received uh, his work from from the university, I think that put it there, shelf it there, uh, and the year passed. <laughs> he was it was not taken to uh, external examiner, but already <coughs> because he had now put the presented the, the proposal, I mean the, the book, to the university. He went ahead and published the research finding in the scientific journal, which was accepted. They, they, they published it in a poultry rare. They accepted the, 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 the work and they published it. So this year, yeah, the, eventually, they, they took the, the research uh, book and it was marked, was brought back. So some corrections were made, so he presented it. So three weeks ago, I asked him, hey, how, how far are you going with the, with, the, with, the, with the preparation for graduation? So he said, you have not checked. So I, I asked him to check. You know, as I said, He's a, he's a very diligent boy and he has put a lot of work, a lot of effort in uh, doing work in a more there. So when he went, uh, they said he missed, he missed uh, the year for graduation. Uh, he should now ask for an amnesty, which he, which he wrote. So the graduation, I think, is next, 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 next man. I don't know whether he's included, he, where they have included him in the book. But that is how far he has been. He's been a, a nice boy. He, he doesn't talk. The one who passed on, well, <coughs> may his soul rest in peace. These students are completed. The practice is that when someone has completed his or her studies, but unfortunately passes on before graduation, the person is given an award posthumously. A posthumous uh, degree will be awarded to the person. And the degree will be received, both the transcript and the certificate will be received by a relative. The relatives will decide. Uh, award. I think what he gave is, a, is, is general. I think when it comes come to the specific one you asked, I think we just need to check the records. Yeah, yeah and be sure of what stage it was somebody in. had reached, mm. which will do. Yeah. Uh, my experience from Makere, if he misses one or two papers, mm. we still proceed with the posthumous. Yeah. But that is if it was discussed by the Senate. Yeah. I don't remember discussing the posthumous. Yeah.
you need to change this. two of them. Not two. Yes, a boy, a boy who died. The football and the games, the athlete who has died. He had also almost completed everything. Yeah, those ones. We we wait certain things. We just give them those awards for the remembrance of their families.